Good afternoon, everybody, and you ready to get your stem on today? So, for today's project, we are going to be making some puffy paint. And yes, it does feel a lot like art, but there is actually quite a lot of crossover. <music> So, for this, what you will need, need, be needing is some glue, shaving cream, the cheap stuff's great, and food coloring, as many or as few colors as you would like to use, um, some bowls or Tupperwares that you can mix each color, and optional are bags for which you will need scissors um, and for which you will need to have some water on hand for cleanup and paper of course so what you're want, going to want is to have a more or less um, equal parts of shaving cream and glue so just like how a lot of you with slime making like to put a little bit of one in and put a little bit of the other that's a really great way to make this paint so i'm going to put a little bit of shaving cream in first shake it up So, you see it really, a little bit of the shaving cream makes quite a lot of paint. So, and you can experiment. You can have, um, you have more of the shaving cream. The, your finished um, result may have a little more volume or not it's something you can experiment come up with something you like there's your bit of science for you a little bit of chemistry um mixing different compounds and to create something else you could come up with a theory of what you think's gonna it it's going to look like in an hour or the next day so it's it's really fun hands-on ex experience okay i think i'm going to add a little bit more glue so when i'm happy with how mixed up it is i will start by adding some color. I I want to try something where I'm just I'm just using this green. So I will add um let's do three drops and then I'll just keep on adding more. So mixing it up. Now that's a nice lime green. So, you can either keep them in the containers, um, it's good to have it be like a recycled, recycling container or something that uh, your mom or your grandma isn't going to mind getting glue on, uh, so, or you can use a bag. So, it's here, you want to open it up and spoon in some of your paint. So if you've ever decorated um, cookies or a cake or cupcakes where you use a piping bag, this is a really 
good, kind of cheap way of making the same thing. So you'll want to put push it all down into a corner. So what you'll do is you'll cut a small, small bit of the corner off. You always want to start off with a small amount because you can always make the hole bigger, but you can't make it smaller. So I'm going to do this is this is this is the puppy paint with three drops of green. So on my paper here, I will do my first line. Now I'm going to put that down, and I'm going to add three more drops. One, two, three, and I'm going to mix it together a little bit more. As you can see, the color is getting a little darker. So I'm gonna get my second bag. Open it up, it really works to open up wide. And I'm going to put my next spoonful of lime green puffy paint down in the corner. So, just squeeze and cut off the corner. And I'm gonna let a little of that air out. I'm going to do my next line. And there you go. Now, uh, hmm, I think I'm going to add five drops now. One, two, three, four, five. I want this green to be dark. A little more what darker than that other one was. So, of course, once again, open it up. Stick my spoonful in. I'm gonna scrape the rest of this. Now. Oh, yeah, a little bit messy, so it's always handy to have some, like a container of water on hand so your, your spoon or your mixing stick doesn't get too gummy with all that glue. So I'm going to one more. And here we go. Yeah, that definitely looks a little bit darker. So now, one, one thing that you can do if you have, have some stuff around is like you could include a little bit of glitter or like sequins to make the, your paint just a little bit extra. So. I'm mixing a little bit. I'm not going to put any food coloring in this one. Okay, I'm going to use this, my cloth, to wipe it off. So, I am going to add some purple glitter. That's not very, there we go, taking the lid off. When you're using glitter, you want to make sure that you clean up when you're done because glitter stays around forever. When I had my classroom, I remember we did something with glitter at the beginning of the year we were still vacuuming up glitter at the end of the school year. 
So you could choose to add a little bit of food coloring if you do add glitter, but that is a personal choice. I want this to be a white glue, um, base, white paint. So I'm putting that in, cutting off the corners, and whizzing out my third, my fourth. Depending on the size of the glitter or the sequins, uh, this may be a better option for just keeping in your container and using a paintbrush. Or you can cut bigger, but you'll get might get some interesting results. Anyways, I will put my masterpiece up to dry and I will share some pictures when it is done. So, of course, now you really want to make sure to clean up everything you use. So, wash your bowls or your containers and your spoons before it dries or it'll be a lot harder to clean. And once you've used up what's in the bags, it's really handy to just turn the bag inside out and um, wash, wash the um, puffy paint off. So you can reuse those bags at a different date. I hope you enjoyed this activity and I'll see you next time.